When we're logged into Flipgrid with our educator account, we're primarily viewing the features of our educator admin or dashboard, including our grids and our topics from the teacher perspective. However, you can flip into student view by simply clicking on a flip code for your grid. So for example, let's take a look at our language arts 6A grid from a student perspective. I'll simply click on the flip code. Notice that I'm prompted to log in with a Google or a Microsoft account. This is because when I created this grid, I selected the school email grid type. In addition to adding my student's school email domain to the grid type settings, I also included the educator school email domain. That means that I can use my educator email to log in to this grid. So in my district, Google and Microsoft are both connected to our school email address or our staff email address. So it doesn't matter which one I pick. I will go ahead and log in with Google and verify my staff email address. When the grid launches, it opens in a more simplified and streamlined view for students. It opens directly to the pinned topic. Notice that the students can see the banner with the grid title. The students can see any and all co-pilots attached to this grid. And rather than seeing a list or a menu of all the topics that are part of this grid, students are launched into that pinned topic. Students can navigate to different topics in the grid by clicking here on the picker bar below the banner of the grid. When they click on the picker bar, they will then see a list of all the topics that are part of this grid. And students can click on the topic that they wish to navigate to in order to record their response if they're not responding to the pinned topic. To record a response to the topic, students will simply scroll down and click on the Flipgrid icon. This will launch the Flipgrid recorder. Here, students have access to all the features of the Flipgrid recorder in order to craft their creative response. They can add filters, they can add text overlay, add stickers, they can add digital inking. They can even flip into whiteboard or blackboard mode. And while they're recording, use digital ink to show their work. Let's just turn that off. Students can even upload a video that they have created using a different screen recording tool or extension and upload images as stickers to add more context to their video response. To record, they just simply click the record button here in the center. And again, they can record their response. They can either record it in, in, its, in its entirety, or they can pause, click next, and they trim a segment, and then record more segments. And when they're ready, they can submit. Clicking next, they can take their selfie, and let's just, we're not gonna submit this video. I'm gonna close this, confirm. When they submit a video, their selfie will appear here in the topic on the grid and the selfie serves as a link. So if I actually click on the selfie. Hi everyone. A student's video response will load. Now you can also flip into student view for an individual topic. So let me just go back to my educator view and I'm going to launch my grid again as an educator. So here I am in my educator admin or dashboard. And if I wanted to view an individual topic as a student instead of the entire grid, I could just click the view button to view as a student. Again, because of those grid settings, I would have to authenticate with my staff email address. And now I'm launched into that particular topic 
that I clicked the view button for. Now, even though I had chose to view an individual topic, once I'm inside the grid, inside a topic, I can always navigate to the other topics of the grid by clicking on that picker bar below the banner of the grid. And again, I can just select the topic I wish to navigate to. As an educator, I would highly recommend every once in a while flipping into student view inside a topic and even consider recording a response to the topic. This allows you to share your voice and your ideas about the topic and keep the conversation going amongst your students. As well, you can share examples of how to respond to the topic or even share or craft a non-example of how not to respond to the topic. 